Hi, this is Anthony Parent of Parent and Parent LLP, the IRS medic. And in the news is we have tax reform. And it seems like a lot of people are waiting to see what happens with that before they deal with a back tax problem. And in this video, I'm going to explain why that really might be the wrong thing to do and exactly the wrong thing to do right now. So uh, right up here, I have some, uh, some, some uh, key figures from an actual client we're filing in an offer and compromise for. I'm going to go through those and how, show you how little difference in what your current tax rate is can really frustrate a deal, a, a really good settlement. Um, so this, is, this uh, gentleman, this client is actually an attorney. Believe it or not, we probably represent more attorneys than any other profession. And as you can imagine, some of them make a, a decent income and things get out of control really quick. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of uh, stress attorneys uh, have, and their businesses are all over the place. So uh, a, little, a little sympathy, if you will, for our attorney friends. Um, so here we have our income. And this is, this is really basically things that we put into the 656 OIC form, which creates the formula on what your offer and compromise amount should be. Now, our client has not exactly been doing the right thing for a few years. We have about a million dollars he owes. Um, his incomes, uh, his, his, there's about $1,800 in wages, and right here he has distributions uh, from his partnership for $34,000 a year, giving him a total monthly amount of $35,800. And some of you might say, what is he, what's the problem here? That's a lot of money to live on. And I guess it always is, unless you're the person, and let's just say the expenses. Uh, in order to make that kind of money, you're living in a high expense place. That's, that's just, that's the way it works. Um, so he's sort of falling behind on everything, and, and he, one of those things is taxes. Um, <clears throat> so with that, we need to subtract what his allowable monthly expenses are. Um, now, sometimes allowables, uh, people will often put in just the IRS's own allowable expenses and not make arguments for anything more. Um, that's one way to do it, but you, you might want to see if you can get some uh, allowables higher than the standards. Uh, but in this case, we just, I just grouped together a whole bunch of expenses here because I really want to focus on the big issue. He's got $9,800 in uh, month, uh, monthly expenses for, uh, for his house, uh, property taxes for where he lives, um, and he has to live where he lives in order to make this kind of money. Um, he's got a term life policy, clothing miscellaneous, $1,900. Now, this is what I want to focus on right here. This is what I want to focus on. One of the biggest allowable expense, and actually the number one allowable expense for our clients is federal taxes, okay? Whatever your taxes are, that's an allowable expense because the IRS wants you to make your current estimated payments. 11,800, that's the number we pulled off of his tax return uh, and divided by 12. That's the actual number. Then we added in his state about 26, uh, 2160 giving him monthly expenses of 23760 Now, he's got a lot of other expenses, too. They're just not allowable. Um, so now, with these, if we, if we subtract the 23760 from 35800 we come up with a monthly ability to pay of $12,040. Okay, now, when we're calculating an offer and compromise, we can go one of two ways, generally. Multiply that by 12 if he can pay that in full. Uh, 100, then his offer and compromise would be $144,480. Not too bad. So he's trying to see if he can borrow his mo that money from his mom. It's a little, you know, he, he's the successful attorney looking for a little loan for mom, so he, he doesn't know quite yet. He just might go with the 24-month repayment and just pay, do double, uh, $288,960, okay? So that's what he can settle this $1 million debt for. Now, before the IRS agrees to settle this, right, they're going to be taking a substantial haircut here. They want to see if what your ability, monthly ability to pay is enough to repay the entire thing with a, an installment agreement. Well, we looked at his account history. We performed a total tax diagnosis, and we found out he would have 72 months to repay his tax debts. If we divide a million by 72, that's $13,888, okay? So what we want to make sure is that our 12,000 here with the 12 or 12,000 with the 24 is less than that. If it goes over, the IRS is going to say, no, 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 we're, we're not interested in the offer and compromise. You can just pull pay with, a, with your, your entire tax liability. So it's a million dollars hanging over his head. It's not a lot of fun, right? <clears throat> now, this is why. They're here. Now, let's get to the point why it's absolutely critical that 
this offer go through before there's any tax reform. Now, I don't know if you've seen this, but there's talks of a 15%, that's what Trump wants, um, but there's more like probably be a 20% tax rate on pass-through entities, which is most, which is what this, which is what this is. If that happens, this 11,800, which is a 100% allowable expense, if he, if it drops, he'll only be paying $7,200 a month to the Federals. That's a good thing, but it's also a horrible thing for settling his back tax because what happens is now his monthly allowable expenses drop to 19,160, meaning he's got a monthly ability to pay of 16,640. That 16,640 is greater than the 13,888. So the IRS is gonna say, no thank you. You can repay this entire amount right now. So the difference, right, look at the difference. You're talking about an $850,000 difference a delay could possibly cause. Now, I don't know what the exact tax reform is going to, uh, uh, tax reform package is going to include, if it's going to have this 20% rate, rate, but to me, it's like, why bother taking that risk? You, that's a really expensive risk you want to take. Luckily, our client's going on this, and we're going to see if our offer is going to be accepted on this. This is Anthony Parent of Parent and Parent LLP, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe for updates to the tax reform as, it, as we get closer to it. Thanks for watching.